two things that I really care about are actually collaborations or partnerships and wisdom about gender and understanding how that affects us and how that needs to be front of mind in uh, social justice work that, that we undertake. Uh, the question of gender focus giving and the opportunity to bring the focus of gender focus giving to collaborative funding is an important way to develop the discussion of affecting philanthropy. And obviously anyone involved in philanthropy, anyone giving money away or facilitating the giving away money wants that to be effective. In my role as head of our pro bono program at Allens, and one of the things I do in my role community engagement is, is run the pro bono legal program. I get to work closely with many, many, many NGOs. I am often asked in this role to assist people to start even more NGOs, to start new not-for-profit organisations. People come and they've got an idea, they've seen a social need, they've quite often have been on a trip somewhere to a disadvantaged country and they've seen something that sparks their interest and they come back and they want to set up a charity. Uh, they want to set up a whole organisation to take care of whatever particular issue it is that they, they find needs doing. And while most of what I do in my job, it's a very happy job, is saying yes to things, being able to help people getting and getting others to say yes as well is part of what I do. One time I find myself saying no a lot more than yes is when I have these requests to set up new organisations because I see the enormous proliferation, the abundance of not-for-profits that we're lucky enough to have in our society. And I see that quite often those same organisations flounder. They flounder because of a lack of funds, they flounder because of a lack of structure, they flounder because of a lack of purpose. Uh, sometimes the very same people who come with the enthusiasm, the glint in the eye, the project they want to undertake, um, they're really enthusiastic for a year or two or three and then they move on to other things and the same organisations come back to us and they ask us to help them wind down and close up and it's not the best use of pro bono legal support to be honest. So we try to avoid setting up organisations where we think that there's another way to handle it. So often what I do is suggest to would-be founders that instead of setting something up from scratch, they have a look around, they map the environment, they see what's going on and what could they perhaps collaborate on, like pinpoint who's doing something and who's doing it well. And then we're absolutely delighted to use our pro bono legal resources to structure joint ventures or write MOUs or even occasionally to merge two or more good organisations doing something very similar. So we love helping collaboration, which is what I started with. We, I, I love partnerships, I love collaboration. The work here, that, the work that we're here to celebrate today is particularly exciting because, as I said, it brings together the concept of what's called, well, was before called a, a gender-wise approach of, or the wisdom of gender, as I said. Um, because apart from my role at Allens, I'm lucky enough to be also the deputy director of an organisation called the Victorian Women's Trust. We've been around for 39 years and one of the main things we do is focus on funding projects that benefit women and girls. We have 17 sub-funds at the moment and they're all dedicated to giving to women, to girls and to gender diverse people. So something that brings together a gender lens and collaborative giving is something that resonates very clearly for me. And what's really interesting is we hear more about this research, and I've been lucky enough to have a look at the report ahead of time, um, is that what has been found is that in order to be effective in collaboration, organisations need to be super clear and super focused. They need to work towards shared goals and understand clearly what those goals are and what their understanding is of the principles and purpose to which they, for which they're working.